this is the structure which we will fix ourselves to okay and then we will solve a very basic question see uh, if you have an array then nobody is going to ask you that hey tell me how many elements are present in the array because that is a nonsense question array has a default size so whatever is the size that will be the total number of elements until unless you have initialized them but when you have a tree then it can be a good uh, then it can be a good question to ask that hey this is the root and now count me the number of nodes present in this tree so let's say you have a tree which is rooted at this node 5 and you have 6 9 1 2 3 0 1 4 something like that somebody asks you that hey count the total number of nodes how will you do that so you cannot do this question just by using a for loop or just by using a simple traversal in in a linear data structure what happens you can travel from i equals to 0 to i equals to 1 i equals to 1 to i equals to 2 but in this case that is not possible so you will have to take refuge in recursion now i told you if you have to solve a problem of tree using recursion then you have to break this tree into a root and a separate left subtree and a separate right subtree you have to think like that when you think like that you will be able to come up with some kind of uh, recurrence relation what you would have learned in recursion like how a function is dependent on other functions and then you will be able to code it so so let me ask you how many of you can write a program to count the number of nodes present in this tree okay uh, by the way let me answer one question one of you is still asking that why we can't use iteration uh, let me ask you how will you use iteration when you use iteration or a simple for loop or something until unless you are using some special data structure that can replace recursion you will have a pointer here let's say that pointer is p now from p you can move to p left from p left again you can move to p left now tell me one thing all that you have done is you have come from here to here from here to here is there any way to go back from here to here here to here and here the answer is no there is no way to go back so when you are using simple uh, iteration moving from one place to the other from one place to the other then you will keep going in one direction only and this is a tree this is not one directional this can be multi-directional you understand so you cannot just make use of something as simple as iteration so how do we think here so you might have learned in, it in uh, recursion that using recursion you can make multiple calls right and those multiple calls are here for the multiple edges that are coming out from every node so think of it in this manner this is a tree rooted at this root r so let's say i have a function count count of r this count of r will tell me that how many nodes are present in the tree whose root is r now definition of the function is very important it returns me the number of nodes present in the tree which is rooted at r then i can say this is equals to one plus count of the nodes which is present in left subtree which will be rooted at a root left plus count of the nodes which is present in right tree which will be rooted at r right you know this is also called as a subtree this is also called as a subtree the way you have a subarray you have got subtree also and for every tree or subtree its representative is, is its root because you have to be at root then only you can travel all the other nodes coming down from it so i can say number of nodes present in this is equals to one why one that one is for the contribution of this one plus the number of nodes present in that plus the number of nodes present in that when you look at this equation this equation is saying that if you have to find the number of nodes in the big structure then you first have to find the number of nodes in smaller smaller structures you find the number of nodes in this find the number of nodes in this add one to it that's how you get the number of nodes present in this and what is this this is purely a recursive equation which you can code and get your job done uh, is it making sense to everyone like what this equation is and why this is fundamentally correct before we code it tell me is this thing correct for all the values of root or all the subtrees does it make sense so let's say you come here you come here you are just talking about this much of subtree 
Here, if you have to count the number of nodes and you say it will be one plus count of root left plus count of root right, okay? Then what will happen is count of root left means you will go to null because root left is null and count of root right would also mean that you would go to null. Now, when you are going to null null, then there will be some issues. What kind of issues? Let's say you come over here and you again make this call. You do one plus count of root left. Then you will actually do null arrow left. And whenever you do null arrow something, you get null pointer exception. Because null is nothing. When you use arrow operator, you are trying to extract something from R. And if R is null, the computer will say, hey, it's illegal. It's null pointer exception. So this thing, is not applicable if R is null. So I would say that, hey, this thing is applicable only if R is non-null. But if R is null, think about R being null. So let's say there is an empty tree. There is an empty tree, there are no nodes in it. It means that its root would be null. So if the root is null, then the number of nodes would be zero. So in that case, you should return simply zero. So this is your base case. And this is your regular case, which I can call as your recurrence relation. So these two things you have to plug in your function and then call that function for the root of your entire tree and then your job will be done. Does it make sense why this uh, base case exists? Yeah.